More from tough-talking Malcolm Fountain in a moment. But first, I want to show you what happens when a family firm calls it a day. Well, it's empty now, but a few months ago, this was a busy butcher's with 80 years' experience under its belt. time there used to be eight nine butcher shops within 100 yards of here got my daughters the wife used to work she'd done 20 odd years in it it's it's lovely really at Hina in Derbyshire Keith Pointer had faced the competition for long enough this was his last day in business people don't want to walk around they'd rather go just go to the uh, supermarket, get all the shopping done, have a cup of tea, park free. We can't park up here, you see, without paying. It, it's just all against us. And a lot of the people come in just for a chat. They don't see anybody from one week to the next. They come in here and have a bit of a chat and a bit of, you know, banter. Have a nice holiday in January. <laughs> What's all about for us? I really enjoy it, I do. That's why you call a bit of ham, that is. How are you really feeling today? Sad, really, I think. It, it'll hit me, I think, after uh, after today's, you know, gone. Who's to blame for what's happening to, to family shops and it's corner just, shops? It's the supermarkets, actually. It's just that everything's changing now and uh, the shopping habits are changing. It's a sad day. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when we're shutting those doors, it'll be a bit tearful. I've been coming here for 34 years, and you become friends. They know you. They, they call you by the first name, that personal touch, but you don't get in supermarkets. Yeah, thank you very much. Were you, were you just trying to persuade him to stay then? I was. Why? Why were you trying to persuade him to stay? Well, because I missed him. He's the only butcher in the year, isn't he? It's a sad day. It's a very sad day. Um, yeah, we don't know where, where we'll go to get the same sort of quality of uh, the produce and that.